Welcome, this is the Awakened Heart Embodied Mind Yoga Teacher Training website, and I'm Hala Corey. I'm Jay Fields. My name is Julian Walker, hi. I'm really excited to be a part of this training because I, I think teacher training is, is the opportunity that we get in yoga to actually go deep and look at everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we're so used to having an hour, an hour and a half long class, and in that, there's there's only so much you can do in your own process, and in particular in group process. And what I love about the teacher training is it's really a deep dive into the practice. It's a deep dive into self, into group dynamics, and into how to teach. And so it's kind of like this this very complete package that doesn't exist anywhere else in in teaching and in taking yoga, I think. I'm excited about teaching the Awakened Heart Embodied Mind Teacher Training because I get to work with these two incredible human beings who bring so much to the table. And I really feel like there's, a, there's an art to collaboration, there's an art to mutual support, and there's an art to holding space for a group of new, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, <laughs> vulnerable, curious trainees and taking them through this process. And I'm, I'm just so humbled and inspired by doing that with you too. Yeah. 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 Let's just keep going. Yeah. yeah, one of my favorite things is to watch trainees. I think that they often come into training with some some idea that yoga is about being this perfect, <laughs> getting uh, yoga poses perfect and having a perfect diet and and I feel like when we demystify that and we say no, yoga is about being a better human being and being more resilient. There's like a collective <sighs> <laughs> um, and I, I love seeing that process. I love seeing the students have this light bulb go on of permission, permission to be human, permission to make mistakes, mm -hmm. and then empowerment around getting all this incredible information about health and wellness and psychology and philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, I love watching that, and, and you're right, trainees are so vulnerable, they're so wanting to learn, and I feel that that's a really mm -hmm. incredible responsibility and, mm -hmm. and that, that we all take very, very seriously. Yeah, there's something really unique that I'm proud of that we do in the training, which has to do with gradually acclimating the trainees to what it means to really be up in front of a room right. and to be teaching and to dealing with what that brings up, dealing with the nervousness, dealing with the self-consciousness, dealing with the feeling that, oh, are they going to believe me? Are they going to think I'm a fraud? And and as you were just saying, Hala, the, the vulnerability and, and normalizing that, mm -hmm. that this is being a yoga teacher ideally, I think we all agree, is about becoming a more integrated human being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's about sharing more authentically. And actually, the more that you work with your own fears and your own vulnerability, the better able you are to really be a trustworthy, mm -hmm. yeah. healthy, mm -hmm. effective holder of space for other people. Absolutely. And that there's really no way to know how to do that until you start trying to do it mm -hmm. and practicing. And I think that's what's so great about this training, as you were saying, is that we actually give them an experiential place to practice what it is to be in front of a group of people teaching. Because oftentimes it's true that you do a teacher training and you never teach a class, and then you're put out in front of the public, mm -hmm. and that's where all this stuff is coming up. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to have your, your insecurities and your fears and your doubts come up in a container that's safe and supportive mm -hmm. where you're not alone, everyone else in there is doing the same thing, is so valuable mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. you teach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's that really practical process and I, I think that there's a, there's a way in which we share tools and information about what's going on in the brain, what's going on in the nervous system, what happens when our psychology gets activated, as it does for all human beings, for us too, this is just part of being human. How do we understand, how do we sort of provide a little bit of an operating manual mm -hmm. for this human organism and go, mm -hmm. how, how can we be more effective? How can we become more free and more integrated in real substantive ways? Here's an exercise you can use when you get nervous mm -hmm. to get up in front of a room and teach. Let's see if it gets better for you by next time. And it does. Yeah. And that is, to me, that is, it's almost the realization of a, of a lifelong dream to really be able to take people from point A to point B in a way that is valuable to them.